Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to be talking about right side bend, downswing, keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolo.com here, thanks for watching. So we're talking about right side bend, golf downswing. So what does right side bend look like? Because you've probably heard it before, and no doubt you found this video doing a search for it, so you've been told you need more right side bend. What does it look like? So I'll show you from down the line angle here. And this is for obviously for a right hander. Right side bend, if we can get to the top of our backswing here, the right side bend in the downswing is when we come down, and that right shoulder gets closer to that right hip. We get down to impact and beyond impact. I've got, you can see there, I've got that, that angle formed between my upper body and my lower body. Past in, impact there, I've got that side bend. It's true to the finish. So the opposite of getting right side bend would be standing up in the downswing, which is definitely something we don't want. And that looks something like this. This is standing up. So that's the, op that's the opposite of right side bend. So that's definitely not what we want. So what are some key benefits that right side bend and the downswing give you? Okay, here's some keys, some real benefits, I should say, what right side bend and the golf downswing will give you. So from this angle here, I've spoken about early extension a lot, before on the channel. Right side bend helps eliminate early extension. So early extension is when I've got that tush line drawn at set up here. Early extension is lifting up. Well right side bend, when you get that right shoulder lower than that left, it allows you to stay in better posture, push that pelvis back, especially that lead pelvis or that lead hip as well, allows you to push that back stay in a better posture and you maintain better body angles you'll be able to shallow the golf club a lot easier you'll also be able to rotate better and become a lot more consistent with your ball striking so getting that right side burn bend is really critical in the downswing the other thing it does helps you shallow out the shaft as well so when you get right side bend it makes it easier to shallow that club and come through to impact. If you don't get the side bend quite often, you'll come down very steep like that. So there's a lot of benefits to getting right side bend in the downswing. One of the keys with right side bend to make sure it is as effective as it should be is that you rotate when you perform this in the downswing. So I'll show you it from this angle down the line. It's important that with the right side bend that we're not just doing this and just tilting like that and getting that right shoulder lower in this sort of fashion here in the downswing. That's not what I mean when I'm talking about right side bend. I'm talking about right side bend together with rotation. So it'll look more like right shoulder goes down as we rotate and we get into that position there. That's the sort of right side bend that you want to be aiming for in your golf swing and that's a really powerful position to help you become a lot more consistent golfer. Now, here's a great key. I'm going to show you a drill coming up and I first want to show you a really simple exercise you can do to help build this into your game. So, what I like to do, I like to feel as though, and I'm obviously a right-hander, that my, my right ear turns towards the ground. As I get to the downswing, I like to feel like my right ear is turning towards the ground and my head, just past impact, is turning side on to my target. Now, when I do that, if I get in this position here and then post impact, my head is side onto the target. I know I've maintained my side bend. Whereas, if I was to stand up, like this and then turn through the target my head's pretty much looking straight down my target line i know i've stood up lost my posture and in a really poor position there and most likely i'm not going to hit the ball well so coming up i've got a simple drill that you can practice to really build this into your game it's coming up 
Okay, here's a simple drill to help build that right side bend into your downswing. So to start off with, don't need a golf club. I'm gonna set up to a golf ball. I'll show you this from a couple of different angles. What I want you to do is hold your, your lead hand, this is if you're a right hander, down towards the golf ball. Get in your posture, put your other hand right up the top here. And what you're going to do is turn and get that right hand to match up and be pointing down towards the golf ball like you would at impact. And this really simulates the feeling that you want of getting that side bend. Whereas if you were to stand up, your arms can be pointing out there somewhere, but we want our arms pointing down towards the golf ball, maintaining that side bend, which has so many positive benefits. And that's a great little drill you can practice. Pull in a club. And we want that side bend right into our impact position there. So from face on, same thing, the hands just switch positions down towards the golf ball. Great little practice drill you can do with a golf club. really feel like that right shoulder is getting closer to that right hip definitely lower than the left there we are post impact and through to our finish through really simple exercise that you can build that right side bend into your downswing now important coming up i've got a video that goes into more detail on the golf downswing which ties in really well with this video to help you make an outstanding downswing make sure you watch it coming up do you want to know how to make an even better downswing click and watch the video on your screen now it's going to go into more detail about how to make a great golf downswing which ties in really well with this side bend video do you want to know how to make an even better golf swing consider subscribing to the channel and remember if you have any questions or comments please let me know I will get back to you thanks for watching see you next time